Hello and welcome to this webinar on using your voice to lead, which is part of the Virtual Leadership Summit from The Performance Coach. My name is Hilary Harvey and I'm an Executive Leadership Coach specialising in working with the voice. In my work as a coach and leadership trainer, I found that one of the key areas of support that leaders are looking for is around this question of how they can express themselves more fully and more authentically from a sense of real inner authenticity and authority. As a singer and vocal performer, I love being able to bring this part of my work to support people to explore and have a playful curiosity about getting in touch with their voice. So I'd like to start by saying thank you to you for joining me for the next half an hour or so and invite you to hold this sense of playfulness and curiosity about what you might learn and experience today. So the aims for today's session are around helping you to recognize that the voice and how you speak is a fundamental aspect of leadership in how you create authority, presence and impact. By the end of the session, I hope you'll have a greater awareness of how you currently use your voice and also leave with some practical tips on how you can use your voice to lead. Before we jump into the content, I'd like you just to take a couple moments or so to do a quick personal check-in for the session, beginning with how present you're feeling. What might you need to do in order to get the most out of this session? So you may find it useful to have a pen and paper handy. And as you may have seen from the preparation notes, that this will be a reflective and practical session. So you might want to ensure that you're in a private space so that you can engage as fully as possible. And you may also wish to turn off any background applications that are running, which might interfere with the sound quality. And finally, what's your personal learning objective for this session? So why think about the voice? As leaders, you need to be aware of and make the most effective use of the resources available to you. And the voice is one of your primary instruments for communication and how you express yourself. It's also, interestingly, a, a potentially a fantastic mechanism for greater emotional self-awareness and regulation. So you'll have noticed for yourself and your personal experience that when you are feeling emotional, whether that's a, a challenging emotion or something very positive, that that's immediately recognized in your voice. So you'll notice if you're feeling angry or fearful, something happens to your voice. And if you're expressing joy and happiness and love, then your voice will sound differently. So paying attention to your voice and how it's sounding can also be a way of really learning what's truly happening for you internally. So the proposition that I'd like you to hold as we go through this session is that developing the power of your voice will enable you to express more of your authentic self as a leader and thereby increase your ability to lead, have an impact and engage others. Your voice is fundamentally connected to how others experience your authority, presence and impact. As you learn to stay present and aware of what's happening for you as you use your voice, you will notice that you begin to be able to speak from a deeper place of inner authority 
and that this will have a knock-on effect on the impact that you're able to have on those around you. So I'd like you to take a moment to reflect on some questions. And again, it may be useful for you to capture these through some notes. And the first question is, what do you think about your own voice in general? How do you feel about it? How does it sound to you? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are the thoughts and feelings that you have about your own voice? And moving on. What do you notice happens to your voice when you're facing a challenging situation in your leadership role? How does it change? And finally, what would the impact be if you could use your voice more effectively as a leader? And within that, what does more effectively mean for you? And how would you be expressing authority, presence, and impact through your voice? I'm just taking a final moment to finish off your sentences or last thoughts before moving on. You probably have noticed for yourself that there are people or leaders that you're more willing to listen to than others. And in recognizing this, acknowledging that the voice has the potential for this immense power The power to persuade, to influence, and to have this magnetic quality that attracts people towards a cause. What would the impact be for yourself and those around you if you were able to access some of the power of your own voice? What's the impact that you would like to have in the world through your leadership? Again, I'd like to ask you some reflection questions. And I'd like you to bring to mind a time or times when you feel most comfortable with using your voice. Where are you and what are you doing? What do you notice is happening in your body? What's your posture like? How does your voice sound? And finally, what qualities are you expressing? When you feel most comfortable with using your voice, what do you become aware of? I'd like to introduce you now to some of the common challenges or barriers to producing voice effectively, before going on to look at how you might start to address these. So firstly, thinking about power. So when we're thinking about power, we're talking about the physical body, what your posture is like, what your breathing is like, and how you're experiencing tension. Thinking about source, 
So where sound is produced, which is in the vocal folds, which are located in your larynx. And some of the common challenges here are uh, around your vocal folds being damaged. That might be through illness or more commonly through smoking, which has a huge impact. And also when your larynx is constricted. Most often this can be uh, caused by stress or tension. And finally, once the voice is produced, it has to go through the filter, uh, which is around the tongue and the teeth and the lips. And most commonly, the problems here are associated with tension. So now I'd like to look at how we might overcome these barriers. So firstly, thinking about power and waking up the body. And what I'd like to invite you now is to to engage in the exercises that I'm going to take you through for the next 10 minutes or so. So I would encourage you to stand up out of your chair, if you're able to, or wherever is most comfortable for you, and just notice where tension is in your body, and start with some gentle stretching and gentle movement. So you may wish to bring your hands up over your head and stretch towards the sky and relaxing, giving your muscles a shake, shaking out your arms, shaking out your legs. And now waking up the shoulders, just lifting them gently up and rolling back behind you. Do this with me a few times. And now forwards, now as we start to think about the impact of the voice, one of the really simple things, and this comes from vocal warm-ups that actors and singers use, is to do some yawning, which starts to release tension in your throat and in your mouth. So I'll invite you to just, just take a few yawns with me. <sighs> and not worrying about looking silly or sounding silly. <sighs> Just a couple of yawns. And feeling how this starts to relax your throat. Now I want you to think about your tongue, which is very easy to miss for speakers. And the tongue is this huge muscle that can really get in the way of us speaking clearly. So when you feel like you're fumbling for words, that's often associated with a lazy tongue. So to address this, what I'd like to do with you is to invite you to place your tongue on the outside of your teeth, inside your lips, so in between your lips and your teeth, and just to swirl it around the inside of your mouth one way, ten times. So I'm going to be doing this with you. Off we go. And now back around the other way. Again, ten times. And you may notice that your tongue starts to ache. And that's because you're really waking it up as a muscle. So I would encourage you, if you're interested in supporting your voice, to be more healthy and to be more expressive, that you need to be pay you need to pay attention to what your physical body is doing and to take care of it and to spend time five, ten minutes every day, if that's all you can do, just engaging your muscles. And the other key thing that you need to be doing is staying hydrated. So it takes four hours for the body to hydrate once you've taken a sip of water. So if you've got a presentation in the morning, then you need to be thinking in advance how you're keeping it hydrated. So now moving on to the source, so thinking about how voice is being produced and engaging your vocal folds, vocal cords, we're going to start making some gentle sounds. And the way that we'll do that with 
A very effective way of doing that is through lip rolls, so uh, making a kind of bubbling sound. Um, this will start to wake up your, your voice in a very gentle way without putting pressure on it. So again, I invite you to let go of feeling silly and to start making noise, the kind of sound that a child would make when it, it is trying to sound like a motorbike or car. And this is made by just blowing air through the lips through a kind of bubbling sound. It will sound something like this. And I invite you to do this with me. And taking it through the range from low up to high, just staying where it's comfortable for you. So not putting any pressure on forcing it to be very low or forcing it very high. But just starting to play and notice that your voice has differences in its range. And making the sound like a siren would, but, but still doing these lip rolls. If it's easier for you, you may wish to place your hands on either side of your mouth just, and lifting your cheeks up just to take the pressure off your lips. do this for a few minutes but hopefully you will already be noticing that that's giving you a slight buzzing sensation in your lips and it's starting to wake up your voice. Now we'll do something called sirening and we'll do this on an NG. So if you say the word sing, it's the NG of that word. So sing to mm. And again, what this is doing is helping you to warm up your voice in a way that won't damage it because you're taking the pressure off the throat. And again, we'll do that siren sound up and down the range. So I'm hoping again that you'll do this with me and starting somewhere that's comfortable and going up higher and lower and playing up and down like a siren. Off we go. So sing, mmm, mmm. Not forgetting to breathe, of course, and we'll keep going. Mm -hmm. You might want to play up the ranges a little bit. Mm -hmm. And coming back down. And playing around the lower ranges. And what this is doing is really reminding yourself that you have this great vocal range. And as you practice this and do this every day, I'd recommend that, again, about 10 minutes of this every day, which will really have an impact on uh, giving difference, diversity, and interest to how you're speaking. So you probably have come across speakers who speak in a very monotone way, and it's extremely boring and uninteresting to listen to. And these sorts of exercises will help increase that sense of interest that people will have as they listen to you. Now I'd like to take you through some vowel exercises. So A, E, A, O, U. And I'd like you to do this with me. So speak, starting from a speaking place, A, E, A, O, U. Again, A, E, A, O, U. And now bringing in a little bit of a singing quality to that. A, E, A, O, U. And again, A, E, A, O, U. And one more time, A, E, A, O, U. Great. And now let's have a play with some consonants. And what this will do is help you to wake up again your, uh, how you're letting the voice travel through your tongue and your lips 
um, and your teeth. So let's start with F, some F. So and similarly with V, the and bringing in some harder consonants like B's and G's. So and B A bat 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 bat. Ba, 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 ba. And a g, and a g sound. You should be feeling this in your throat a little bit. G, 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 g. And you can have a play all the way through the alphabet. And it's just about waking up these different areas of your voice and waking up the different elements that have an impact in how your voice sounds. And finally. When we're thinking about the voice and that place of where it is that you want to be speaking from, I would always encourage people to spend some time getting centered. So once you've woken up the body and you've woken up the voice, just take a few minutes to get present to what's happening for you. So I would encourage you to try this out with me. And you might wish to sit back down or to be standing. And some people find it very useful to either close or lower their eyes, finding a still point, so that you can begin to turn your attention to a more inward looking place. Now I'd like you to just gently bring your attention to your breath, noticing how that's feeling for you. Noticing the in-breath through your nose and the out-breath again through your nose. And in through the nose and out through the nose. And as you become aware of any thoughts or feelings, just gently notice them and let them go, bringing your attention back to your breathing. As you find yourself connecting to this more centered, still and aware place, I would encourage you to think about the tone that you wish to set for yourself for the day. What intention do you wish to hold for yourself, that you wish to express through your voice as you communicate? What leadership qualities do you choose to express through your voice? At this point, it may be useful for you to ground this thought intention into your voice just by gently finding a note that you wish to sound. So you may, may wish to hum, and again playing through that range and finding a place in your voice that feels good for you in this moment. And I invite you to just hum quietly for yourself, finding a place in your voice where the sound resonates from your heart region. As you place your intention on the tone or qualities that you wish to express as a leader for the day.
Now I'd invite you to bring your attention back to your breathing. And back to the room and connecting back into the content for this webinar. And just noticing how that experience was for you. So to go through waking up the body, waking up the voice and playing a bit with the range and then adding an intention to how you want to use your voice to express your leadership. As you begin to become more aware with how you use your voice, you can really develop begin to develop your voice as a leadership tool, particularly as you go through the latter part of this exercise around setting your intention and setting your tone for what it is that you want to express. So I'd really encourage you to try this out for yourself. You may wish to give yourself a week in which every day you spend a couple minutes waking up your body, then a couple minutes waking up your voice, then a few minutes getting centered and set setting your intention. You may also wish to complete an evening review. So at the beginning of the day, noticing for yourself and making a choice about what you want to be aware of and how you use your voice as a leader during the day. And then in the evening, just doing a few minutes of reflection of what you noticed you experienced and what you felt was the impact on yourself and others. You may also wish to ask friends, loved ones and colleagues for some feedback on what they notice of how you're using your voice. As we come towards the end of this session, I'd invite you to think about what your own personal leadership vision is for yourself in how you use your voice to lead. How might this be of service to yourself and to others? And I'd invite you just to make some quick notes about the first thoughts that you have as you develop a vision for yourself in how you use your voice to lead and how perhaps this might be of service to yourself and others. So hopefully as we've taken some time to reflect and be more aware of and to do some practical exercises, I'm hoping that you're developing the sense of your own voice and the potential that it has to be used more effectively as a tool for leadership. We've covered a number of very simple things that you could include into your daily practice to improve your awareness and ability to use your voice to lead. And recognize how bringing more awareness to how you use your voice can help you to express your own leadership note more fully. If anything of this webinar has been useful for you, what I'd like to invite you now to do is to ground it into action. So I'd invite you to consider one insight that you've gained and two immediate actions that you could help that would help you to embed and take this forward.
And as we close the session for today, I'd like to acknowledge you and thank you for your time in your willingness to explore something new and just leave you with a couple final thoughts. Thank you very much for joining me today and I wish you very well in your leadership journeys.